Hi, in this video I'm going to unbox and play around with this quadcopter. Bought this uh, last week from JK uh, here in Sydney, Australia. It's a uh, quadcopter, I got this for uh, around uh, 110 if I remember correctly. That's Australian dollars. And the basic features that I uh, really like are uh, an onboard uh, HD camera shooting at 720p, a 6 axis uh, gyro, and the ability to do a 360 flip. Look on the side of the box, these are the things that come with it. Of course, you've got the, uh, the quadcopter itself, you've got a remote control with an LCD screen, you've got a screwdriver, um, rotor guards, one for each rotor. Um, what is this? Oh, landing uh, struts for those hard landings that are coming up. You've got the camera itself. You've got a few spare rotor blades, a micro SD card reader, a micro SD card, a battery charger, and the battery itself. Uh, feels light. Um, let's uh, get in it and see what's in the box. Looks like the quad cutter itself is already assembled. So there we go. Nice large rotors. It's got a bunch of LEDs on each side. Probably to get some nice lightning effects. There's a the camera down here. Alright, camera. Um, a switch on and off. A connector for the video camera. For power, I suppose. Um, what else can I see out of the box? I uh, think that's about it. I wonder where the uh, where the charger for the battery is. I can see a compartment here. Um, I'll put this aside for now. I've got the landing gear. I'll assemble that. Got the uh, the guards for the blades, so one for each blade. Let's see how I can see here. Yeah, I can see the little little dips in here where the the guards will attach. Okay, I'll do the assembly soon. Another two of those. There's the controller. LCD screen, an LED, power status, uh, buttons, right, and uh, four AA batteries to power this controller. Right, then I've got a little bag with spare blades, screwdriver that I'm going to use right away. There is an SD card reader, so a little slot for a mini SD card. And a USB charger cable. So that, let's see, that would plug. Um, that would plug to something. <laughs> what? What is it? If I remove that, I should probably read the instructions first, but I can't wait. So there's a little, whoa, there you go. <laughs> that came off. Ah, there you go. So there's the battery in here. And that's where you plug in the charger. So I'll do that soon. First, I'm going to connect or screw in the guards for the blades. So that shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, so this just hook in here, and there's a little screw on top. Tighten it down and secure it. 
Okay, back here. So what I had to do was to use my small drill here to open up uh, the uh, the um, uh, the hole for the screw to go in for one of these uh, roto guards. So it wasn't done at the factory. So it could be a, like a small defect uh, in uh, at, at least one of the batches of these quadcopters. So it's something to be uh, aware of. So um, in the meantime, I've also attached the uh, the landing uh, gear. There was no problem, so it all just matched nicely. Now uh, let's see uh, what happens. What's happening with the controller? I'm going to put in some batteries in here. So it takes four AA batteries. I'm going to use four rechargeable batteries here. Plug those in. Alright, now let's see if I turn this thing on. I haven't attached the camera in, I'll do that in a minute. So turned on, there is charge in the battery, so it looks like it's going to fly at least for a few minutes. Nice lights. I'm not sure what they are indicating, perhaps uh, they're looking for uh, a controller to pair with. So I'm going to We'll look at the controller, there's no on off switch, but let's see if I push this up and then back down again. Hope it's not going to fly. Uh, nope, no, nope. oh, okay. So there's a power button. Press this button here, turns it on. Uh, and notice that the LEDs are now blinking at a different uh, rate, different frequency. Let's see if I push this up and then down. All right, so. I can see that the indicator here indicates uh, that there is a connection and there's a strong signal between the quadcopter and the controller. So if I push this up, there we go. So 13%. Well, it's a big drop here. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Nice. What about the other one? So I'm pushing it to the right. Yeah, I can feel that the rotors change. Uh, rotational speed so that they can control the turn. What about these? If I push this button, if I press the, the button on the left, it uh, changes the uh, turn to light on and off on the other side to the right. It's beeping. I wonder if this is a flip, one of the acrobatics that it can do. Right. That's it. Okay, camera. Push this down. Seems like it's turning the camera on. <laughs> Too much noise. So press the button down and the camera indicator turns on. So I suppose that the, if the camera was attached, it'd be uh, recording now. Stop it. And then if I push it on the top of the controller, I think it just takes a snapshot. So the, uh, the camera... Uh, symbol just appears momentarily then it goes away. Now I think that the other side uh, this four directional controller does anything. Okay I'm going to switch it off and attach the camera. Um, I just noticed the, L, the uh, uh, mini SD card is connected to the back of this module. It's a two gigabyte card and uh, I will probably, when I go out to the park to, to play with this thing, I'm going to use some tape just to make sure that it doesn't fly off or that the, the SD card doesn't uh, fall out of it. And uh, I'll attach it back here. All right, here's a camera lens. And there's uh, a little arrow here that uh, is indicating which way is pointing forward. So that's a way that the camera will point as well. And I'll attach, connect the uh, camera cable to the body of the quadcopter. All right. So now, let's see, to turn the camera on, press down. So now it should be filming. There's no indication that it is. There's no LED lighting anywhere. 
maybe yeah, of course I should turn it on first I turned the quadcopter on I've got a link between the quadcopter and the controller you can see the indicator here so let's do some filming so filming LED uh, symbol is on um, there is there is a red LED strip here so, but I don't think that has anything to do with whether it's filming or not so it's just probably always on okay stopped filming and then let's take a snapshot All right okay hmm I'll check it out on the computer to see what kind of video quality and the image quality we have but for now seems like this part of is working so if I'm using my hand here to block the rotor but in case you know your hands get entangled in this thing it doesn't seem like you're going to be damaged <laughs> at least not too much uh, don't too much pressure okay good let's go to the computer check out the video quality and then uh, we'll get out in a park to let this thing fly okay so here we are at the park going to launch the quadcopter to see how it flies yeah. now let's have a look I'm going to turn it on there's a switch all right it's fully charged camera facing that way as the uh, marker now switch it on so to connect the camera with the quadcopter I need to push the lever up like that and then back and now they connected so you can see the uh, the battery is almost fully charged although I did leave it all the way <laughs> overnight uh, the signal strength is good so let's see let's push it up there we go try to do this with one hand got a bit of a light wind here <laughs> chasing the kids Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Tricky with the wind, so not very strong, but just light wind. Okay, Leo, can you put it down on the floor, please, on the ground? Thank you. Let's try again. See if I can do some acrobatics as well. Adi, out of the way. Okay. Okay, I press this 3D button here. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but... Okay. Whoa, okay. I'll get my helpers to bring this back closer and I'll try to do this uh, 3D roll one more time. Hey, Leo, can you bring it back here, please? We'll do the 3D roll again. Did you see it? Okay. Okay, stand back. <laughs> okay, lift off. Okay, and 3D. Oh, no, that didn't work out very well. Uh -uh. Stop. Guys, move back, move back. Not sure why it's moving, but there you go. Let's take some video as well. Now I'm taking video. Well, there you go. Oh, I better land. They get my helpers to bring it back here. Okay, <laughs> so I had landing. Yeah, it does get uh, take a bit of getting used to it, especially because uh, you can't really know where the forward and backwards is. So you need to actually know where the forward and backwards is in order to push the levers the right position. 
it's so unlike with a helicopter this uh, has got like four directions where either one could be the front uh, there are LEDs to show you that but during the day that's just the LEDs are invisible okay guys let's do one more roll okay and then you can play with it Oh, come back, come back. All right, let's try that. <laughs> okay, that was a much better landing. Yeah, good fun. Going to spend a bit of time with this. Figure out the controls. They're all well documented. But this is a fun game to play with.